السلام علیکم اسٹوڈینٹس آف کلاس سکس آئی ہوپ یو آر آل فائن این نیو آکسفورڈ ماڈرن انگلش بک سکس دی ایکوئنگ گرین ایکسرسائز پیج فورٹی نائن سو وی ور لیفٹ ود پارٹ بی پنکچویشن اینڈ ہیئر ویل ٹاک اباؤٹ کاما کاما از یوزڈ بٹوین دا آئٹمس ان اے لسٹ کاما لسٹ میں آئٹمس کے درمیان استعمال کیا جاتا ہے ان کو ڈفرینشیٹ کرنے کے لیے کوشچن فور ری رائٹ دا فالوئنگ سینٹینسز پوٹنگ ان کاماس ہیئر وی ہیو دیز سینٹینسز جہاں کاماس کا استعمال نہیں کیا گیا وی نیڈ ٹو پٹ کاماس وائل ری رائٹنگ دیز سینٹینسز ایز دا فرسٹ سینٹینس ان ہز شاپ کاما ہی سیلس نٹس بولٹس اسکریوز پنس اینڈ پیپر ہیئر آئی ہیو ری ریٹن دس سینٹینس using appropriate or necessary punctuation marks other than commas during his holiday comma he visits his brother comma his uncle comma his father's friend comma his grandfather and grandmother and at the end of sentence there is a full stop obviously the leaf floated with the current comma whirled round and round comma twisted over comma stopped for a moment comma and then disappeared full stop the bells on the tree comma streamers of every color hanging from the ceiling comma balloons of all shapes comma a large star comma and millions of sparkling lights completing the decoration in the hall full stop So this is how you can put commas between the items in a list. Question 5. Make your own sentences using the words in each row. Here we have a number of words in each row and we need to use all of these in a sentence. Let's use the words of first row in a sentence like trains, aeroplanes, bullock carts, bicycles, cars. And the sentence will be there are so many means of transportation such as trains, aeroplanes bullock carts bicycles and cars b pakistan china malaysia indonesia thailand the countries such as pakistan china malaysia indonesia and thailand have their own official languages c hockey cricket golf table tennis squash hockey cricket golf table tennis and squash are played by are played all over the world d blue shirt gray shirt white and black shirt yellow shirt i like to wear all colored shirts especially blue shirt gray shirt white and black shirt and yellow shirt with this question our exercise from textbook is complete now uh, let's move forward to new oxford modern english workbook 6 page 38 where part a is about verbs Question 1. Change the following sentences as shown in the example. Start with the part in italics. So here we have a sentence like they rang the bells at sunrise. Here the words the bells are italicized and we'll start the sentence with this italicized word. The bells were rung at sunrise by them. So it is more like a conversion of active voice sentences into passive voice. You will hear the bells ringing. The bells ringing will be heard by you. They played the games all day. The games were played by them all day. The old folk saw the children playing. The children were seen playing by the old folk. You will hear the echoing of the children's voices. The echoing of the children's voices will be heard by you. They laughed away their cares. Their cares were laughed away by them. The sports tired out the little ones. The little ones were tired out by the sports. Their mother, mothers took the little ones home. The little ones were taken home by their mothers. Part B. Working with words. Question 1. Use these words to complete the sentences on page 39 about the poem. You will need to change the form to make them fit. We need to complete the sentences given on page 39. And we need to complete the sentences on page 39. And we need to complete the sentences on page 39. And we need to complete the sentences on page 39. And we need to complete the sentences on page 39. And we need to complete the sentences on page 39. And we need to complete the sentences on page 
नीचे हमें कुछ वर्ड्स दिए गए हैं जो कि हम यूज़ कर सकते हैं बट ऑबियसली देर विल बी सम चेंजेस नीडिड टू कम्प्लीट द सेंटेंस सो दिस इज़ हाउ वी नीड टू कम्प्लीट द सेंटेंस सब्जेक्ट इज गिवन वर्ब में हमने पास टेंस एड करना है और साथ में एक एड वर्ब भी एड करना है लाइक द बेल्स रैंक पास टेंस ऑफ वर्ब रिंक लाउडली एन एड वर्ब The birds sang happily. Old John laughed joyfully. The children played merrily. The sounds echoed repeatedly. Part C is about parts of speech adverbs. As we all know that adverbs tell us more about the verb, and they are easy to find as they end with the l y. so what we need to do here is question one complete these sentences by adding adverbs. however this box is telling us that some adverbs are placed in the middle of the sentence before a verb. mostly हमने देखा है कि adverb को verb के बाद add करते हैं लेकिन यहाँ उन्होंने हमें बताया हुआ है कि कुछ verb adverbs को sentence के middle में भी add कर सकते हैं verb से पहले like the children often practice playing the piano in my house. here the verb uh, adverb is often that is placed before the verb practice the rude boy greedily demanded an other biscuit the beggar humbly requested an other bowl of soup the thief spoke proudly about all the crimes he had committed please sir said the boy softly may i come in quickly and quietly the children left the room the hockey team lost the match they were beaten soundly so here we have noticed or uh, we can notice that some of the adverbs are placed before the verb or kuch baad mein istemal kiye gaye hain baad mein likhe gaye hain but they are explaining the verb or action word question 2 try to put the adverbs in the correct place use the sign and the sign is given right over here like a star so hame karna kya hai ki hame isi tarah se ek sentence diya gaya hai the shops in the village open early और हर सेंटेंस के बाद ब्रैकेट में एडवर्ब दिया गया है इस एडवर्ब को हमने सेंटेंस में एक्यूरेट प्लेस पर यूज़ करना है एंड फॉर दैट पर्पस उन्होंने हमें ये साइन बताया है स्टार का कि जिस जगह हमने ये एडवर्ब लगाना है वहाँ हम ये साइन यूज़ कर सकते हैं लाइक द शॉप्स इन द विलेज यूजली ओपन अर्ली वी हैड nearly finished eating when the doorbell rang the home team almost lost the match you should always be on time for your lessons it was still raining when we got home my friend sometimes goes to the club on sunday so jahan maine ye sign lagaya hai at that very place we can put adverb part d is about vocabulary building make longer words by joining the words in a with the words in b write the words in the space provided below the boxes yahan is column mein column a aur b mein hame words diye gaye hain we need to join them to make longer words like man in column a is joined with aged with sorry in column b and the word will be managed of in column a is joined with ten in column b often so this is how you can make longer words attacked rather doorway about without earnest so this ex- exercise will help in vocabulary building and that was all for today's lecture thank you so much and allah hafiz